being Intel's futurist, I feel very lucky that I get to travel all over the world and talk to people about the future. And when I talk to a lot of them, they're worried, quite honestly. They, they've got fears when you talk about things like big data or you talk about things like um, all these different devices around them. People get worried. What worries people actually isn't the technology. What worries people is um, the effect that technology could be having on their, their lives. And what I mean by that is people get worried about uh, their, their children texting too much and that pops, possibly they're losing the ability to communicate with each other face to face. And what I tell people is that's good. You actually should be worried about that. That's a very good thing. The reason why you're worried about it is because you care about your children. That's a good thing. We need more of that. The technology doesn't really care if it's being used or not. And so what we're trying to do is have a much broader cultural conversation about what's acceptable and what's not acceptable. It took us decades to figure out what was acceptable when it came to broadcast television, when it should be on, when it shouldn't be on. And I think we're entering into an era now where with all of these different screens, we have to figure out what's acceptable in what country, in with what family, with what business, with what community, what's acceptable. And I think we're kind of figuring that one out. So I think a lot of the concerns that people have and a lot of things people have told me are more cultural concerns. They're actually not technology concerns at all. And I do think it's important that we have a broader conversation about that. We also should focus on when it comes to, you know, what will it actually mean to have a lot of our data out in the cloud? What will it mean to have a lot of our personal information on our different devices. I think it's in that and understanding and embracing the fact that we're going to be able to do all this really awesome stuff with this technology and all this awesome stuff with data, but to understand we need to make sure that we give the consumers, that we need to give people as much control as possible.